Hey everybody, I was just checking in and letting you know how the appointment went, went with Grandma. Everything went great. Um, she did qualify for hospice, thank goodness, and the caseworker is coming out tomorrow to um, evaluate all the things that we need. Um, Grandma was not having a good day today. She was she has dementia and she kind of was not talking you know making any sense or talking right but um so we got all the paperwork done for hospice and they said that they'll be able to have um volunteers come and uh sit with grandma while i get my chemo treatment today as you can see the the rings under my eyes. I'm super tired today. Um, been crying just a little just because it's just sad to know that you have to call hospice and to help you when you, you know, you want to take care of your, your loved one by yourself, by yourself, but you just can't. So it's kind of hard, but it, I only need help. Um, just a little, um, just, you know, you, just need help a little bit, especially when um, you go in for chemo. You have to, you know, when I come home, I'm super tired and I'll be really super sick. And um, so finally, I'm going to be able to get some help and I won't have to, you know, drag myself down at least twice a week. So twice a week. The bath lady will come and give grandma a bath and, um, you know, change her and all that stuff. So that'll be good. And then the preacher will come twice a week and just sit with grandma and, you know, read the Bible to her and sing with her and stuff. <clears throat> and then the days that I need that I'll be in for chemo. They'll send a volunteer over to our house to sit with grandma so I can go get my, um, my chemo treatments. So, you know, that way I won't have to worry about trying to find somebody to sit with grandma for four or five hours. They'll sit with her for four or five hours. Um, so, and everything's covered by Medicare, so that's good. Um, and she also said that, you know... Drinking Ensure as much as Grandma wants to is okay. Um, she doesn't always have to have, like, the four-course meal or the, you know, just let her eat what she wants. So, um, instead of giving her stuff that she probably doesn't like, <laughs> I was trying to make her eat healthy like we do. But um, she said if she wants donuts every day, give her donuts. If she wants Ensure every day, give her Ensure. Just anything just to keep her comfortable. So that's a big relief, you know, as well. I mean, this is the first time I actually took care of a loved one. And we're just trying to do the best we can besides with his mom, with Mr. Christine's mom. So she said that we're, we've been doing a good job and looks like grandma's really spoiled. And she has a beautiful place to, to have her last days. So you know, what more could you want? And so it was very nice to know that, mm, that all we've been doing is good. It's a good thing and that we've been doing well. And, um, so it felt good to know that we've been doing the right things for grandma and that, um, that, that, we were in the right direction and now it's okay to let them just take over. So grandma's still going to be living with us. It's just that, um, somebody will be coming in two or three times a week, um, just helping out. So, and she said, just, just sit back and just relax. And, you know, if you're feeling sick from your chemo, uh, we'll just have to schedule it to where, you know, the person comes in uh, while I'm at my sick point while I'm taking chemo, um, today I'm feeling super tired, uh, 
my fingernails are starting to get that you see that bruised look again on them that just means that just tells me that my white blood cells are starting to get a little bit low again so what do you do you just gotta pray about it and leave it at God's feet that's it and I prayed about it and now grandma's got hospice uh, they have like a more comfortable hospice bed now my husband and I have gotten her a new bed and new mattress and stuff but it's not hospice grade where it it's designed for somebody who's bedridden and it is a very thick memory foam and it also has a lip all the way around so that they can't roll out which grandma can't roll out anyway because we have the rails up in her bed um, it's a really nice bed it goes up and it goes down and it bends and it does all the fancy things that regular uh, hospital beds do it's just that um, the mattress you know the mattress is just a normal mattress that you would just order off at Amazon um, it's not a cheap mattress though I mean they're expensive but it does it's not as long as the hospital bed mattress needs to be and it it is memory foam but it doesn't have that lip on it to where they you know it does it just keeps them in the bed so we're thinking about probably changing over to that one um grandma spoiled if she needed something i always just bought it <laughs> i didn't let her go without anything <clears throat> She needed a new bed. We got her a new bed. She needed a mattress. We got her a mattress. She needed a hospital tray, a nice one. We got that. I mean, grandma's not ever went without. So, um, I think we might switch to the other mattress. Um, right now the mattress she had is okay, but it's just shorter. It doesn't really fit the bed like I thought it would. But... So yeah, so we're getting the help. We qualified. Um, Grandma was not having a good day today. Uh, she's she did say something about she was gonna bite somebody. I don't know. She was a sweet lady before she got dementia, and now you know she's still a sweet lady, and she has her good days and her bad days like everybody else, but. I don't know why she was talking about biting somebody, but she did. Uh, and then she talked about going in the snow and putting her boots on and going in, and uh, going out in the snow. I don't know why she was saying that, but uh, we were like, okay, well, we just got to wait for it to snow. <laughs> you just never know when a person has dementia what they're going to say. But we just go along with it. We don't argue with her or anything. We just, you know try to either redirect her or if she's getting a little upset or like she's saying she's gonna bite somebody or we'll just play along you know um no sense of making them upset no sense of making a person who's has dementia um i mean to say i told you this or remember that you know it's just redundant you're just making the person upset. Just play along with whatever they say. Um, and that's what we do. You know, we don't want to make grandma feel bad about not remembering something or not getting something right. So we just play along with whatever she says and all is good. <laughs> but um, so anyways, I was just stopping in and letting you all know that everything was great today. It was a successful day, and um, thumbs up. We got it. Thumbs up. We got, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got the, we got hospice. So hospice will be coming in, and they'll be um, sitting with Grandma while I go get my chemo, 
and somebody will come in twice a week and help me with bathing and changing grandma and then we'll have a volunteer come and sit with grandma when we go to Mr. Christine's mom's funeral and um, when I go get my chemo the next day. So um, we do have cameras in grandma's room in her apartment so we can talk to the volunteer through the speaker and we can see everything and hear everything that's going on. And we were very upfront with that when we let, you know, we let the uh, social worker know that we do have that. And then when the volunteer comes, we'll let them know there's a camera here and a camera there. We can see, hear everything. You can talk to us. We can talk to you. Um, so we're always aware of what's going on with grandma and in her room and who's where and who's doing what and saying what, uh, I'm not a person who trusts people very easily, so those cameras to me are very vital. So I know what's going on, who's doing what, where people are. Um, it's not that uh, anybody's done anything bad to her, but I just want to make sure it stays that way. So we do have cameras in her apartment um, in two different angles so that we can see things at all times, even when we're in bed. We have a baby monitor and we can see her while she's sleeping. All I got to do is sit up and look and I can see her. I can hear her. Um, so we take a lot of precautions. A lot. But anyways, I love you all so much. Thank you for all the love, all the prayers, all the encouragement, all the support. And until next time, I'll see you. Now remember, uh, next week will be the... Um, my mother-in-law's funeral and then also will also be my chemo treatment so next week's going to be a very busy week but hopefully we'll have all these people in in place to be able to help and uh, we'll see remember pray about it and then leave it at god's feet that's what i do every time and it turns out pretty good anyways love you all so much and Thank you, and I will see you on the next video. Love you. See ya.